Welcome. We'll learn about grids in Revit architecture. Grid lines are finite planes which are used to add columns that can be stretched or arcs. To create grids, switch to floor plan view. Here we can see under project browser, floor plans, level 1 and level 2. We can switch to any one of the level to create the grid lines. So here we are in level 1. On the architecture tab, under datum, here we can see grid option. And the shortcut key for grid is GR. So select the grid option. Once we select the option, here we can see a draw tools are available. First one, line command, where we can create a, a straight, a grid line. So select. So here I'm picking the start point and end point of the grid line. So we can create horizontal or vertical grid lines with the help of line command. Next one, start end radius. So here we can create a curve shape grid line. A select, so as it's a mentioned start end radius. So we need to pick a start point and the end point and now the radius. How much radius we need that we can mention or we can pick or randomly. So here we can see a curve shape grid line has been formed. And next one center end arc. So this is also a same where we can create a curve shape grid line by picking center and end point. Select so select the center point and select the end point and the length of the arc how much we need select so here we can see a grid line has been formed and the last option available is pick line it is similar to the offset uh, in other softwares so here if i select pick line so to use this pick line option we should have existing grid line to perform that uh, command so here i'm mentioning a offset value so to create a room or a complete plan we'll be using this pick line option so if i want to create two rooms with the help of a 25000 mm width and the length of 20000 mm so we can take any a uh, value depending upon the floor size so here I need 25,000 mm width. So we can select any existing grid line, grid line. Either it may be straight line or a, a curve. So here we can see a blue colored dashed line is formed. If I move the cursor to the right. Here we can see on the right it has been formed. If I move the cursor to the left. It has getting formed on the left side. So we can switch the directions by moving the cursor and we can click on that particular direction where we want to create the grid line so for this straight line i want to create so i want to create the uh, boundaries of the room and at the corners where the grid lines are getting intersected i want to place the columns over there so here i'm selecting this straight line so at the bottom we can see a, a blue color line select so here we can see a grid line has been formed now i want to create a, a vertical grid lines so again i'm switching back to line command and making the offset value to zero so select the start point end point and next now i want to create a, a two rooms with the length of 20000 mm so here we can use the pick line option again in offset value 20,000 then select the grid lines. So here we can see a two rooms has been formed. Now at this intersection points the columns will be placed. We can place the columns individually also 
uh, randomly at any point but when we are creating rooms with the dimensions we need to place the we need to specify the distance between the columns also according to the uh, room size so further we are using this grid lines which make the uh, easy to place the columns so at all these intersection points columns will be placed where the two grid lines are getting intersected so if we don't want to place so at this intersection point i don't want to place the column so here what i can do select that particular grid line so once we select here i got a one small circle over there so if i move that grid line here we can see all grid lines are moving along with that particular grid line but i want to move only that particular grid line how so here we have a lock symbol so if we unlock that only that particular grid line will move over there here we can see only that particular grid line is moving now so i don't want to place column over here so i move up so there is no intersection point over here so again we can set them to the original position move so i want to place columns at this corner so i just up pulled it down and the next option we have when we select the column so we have seen this a circle and the log symbol and next option we have this a box so where we can use this box to hide or unhide the details of that particular grid line so if i uncheck this here we can see the details has got hidden so if we want to see it back here we can check in this box so here we can see the details of that particular grid line and the next last option we have elbow so when we are creating n number of grid lines at closer values we can use this elbow symbol so if i click on elbow here we can see elbow has been added so we can adjust by a uh, pulling or dragging this blue color circles so this is all about a grid lines how to create grid lines and options available in it thank you